Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you what I have decided to do with my stamping plate collection. I was in a tizzy over it. I had them in Velveeta boxes, all the little round ones. I had them like a whole Velveeta box full of them. I had I had them in um, just all kind of little plastic containers. I had them in those other little old books that they sold. Um, I just had, I had stamping plates everywhere. So, after I pulled them all out and showed y'all my overview, I cleaned every single plate. Every single, and there's like 600 and something of them. It's, it's crazy. So, I cleaned them all, and while I was doing that, I was doing a lot of thinking about how I wanted to handle them, how I wanted to do them. And I watched what was formerly known as Patty Mail, which is now... Patty's Polished Corner, and I watched how I watched her video where she showed her organization and storage, and that's where I saw this beautiful case from CC and Sissy. Now I can't scroll out to show you how massive big this is. It's 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 but this big by this big. <laughs> I'll get you some measurements. I promise. I'm not I'm not being just a jerk. Okay, it's got the cute little gold tab. It's got a nice little handle, and the zipper on this rascal is substantial. It's beautiful. It's got two nice little pull tabs. I just wanted to kind of show you that. And this is not something I would just be running around carrying around by the handle. I'm just telling you. This thing is packed with all of my little round plates. Let me see if I can scan out some more. Without making y'all sick. Okay, this holds all my little round plates and square plates, the ones that will fit into the small holders. Let me back up and tell you how these come. You can buy the book. You don't have to buy the book. You can buy just the pages. Um, they come in packs of 10 um, for the small. And then they've got the medium ones. I'll show you those also. And the large ones. So you've got small, medium, and large. So you've got three different sizes of the plastic holders, which are just lovely. And then, but if you buy the book, the book comes with 20 pages. So I had to sit down to a lot of ciphering. I was like, okay, I've got so many of these and so many of those. And you know, just I had my little notebook out. I was like a little, you know... It was just crazy, you know. I was kind of doing that measure twice, cut once. <laughs> I wanted to count them all and make one order. So I did my order. I figured out what all I needed. And so I have one one of my books. I bought two books. One of my books is just all the round ones and square ones. And I'm not going to show you, like, all of these today. We're, we're going to... Well, we've been talking about this in the comments of another video. And <clears throat> I will be showing my stamp plate collection but I just wanted to quickly just show you how lovely and and you know this holds those bundle monster square ones now this book is um, pretty much full um, I had a few plates that were just kind of like odd shaped so I took some of the medium these are the mediums. These are rectangular right here. This is this is a whole sleeve. And I've slid two of these square ones. Now these are the Beauty Big Bang ones. And they're just a tiny bit bigger than the Bundle Monster square ones. So I've, I've layered them in here like this for now. And um, I've got a couple of more, um, you know, like some Born Pretty ones that... Uh, didn't quite fit in the other and I didn't want to split nothing open. I didn't want to tear nothing up. So I just I just decided for now this is this is how it's gonna work. So there we go. We've got oh and in the back it's got a little, you know, net like my book so fat there ain't gonna be room for nothing else back there. So I'm gonna close this one up and I'm gonna grab the other one so I can show you what that looks like with the medium and the large sleeves. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera a little bit. I don't know that that's going to work either. Let me. Okay, so let's see if I can move this heavy book. <laughs> so we're in about the middle of the book, and you can see we're at my little 
rectangular. Yeah, I guess that's what these, these are the acrylic plates. These are really, really hard to see, and it makes it even harder to see them inside the sleeve. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking some card stock and cutting it out and stamping and kind of sliding that card in with these so that when I'm scrolling through my book, um, I can spot them. But you can see they hold the, um, let's see, we've got, you know, that 041 and the one I couldn't pronounce and my um, Cool 2 or whatever they were called. Um, uh, no, two joys, <laughs> my BC plates, and all these other, you know, rectangular plates like the ones from Beauty Big Bang. I've left a couple of openings because I have two more coming. I knew that were coming. Um, Born Pretty plates fit in here, you know, with the backings, with the little plastic backings. Um, the Bundle Monster ones, and of course those those pretty little purple acrylic plates are in here. So those are the medium ones, and these, I love these. I just think that this is just really, really nice. Um, I had three Messy Mansion plates that wouldn't fit in anything. So I tried them in here, and you can see, now there's a lot of extra room, but they're safe in here, and they're flat, so I'm happy with that. I also had these funny shaped Westonia ones that were, you know, homeless. So they fit in here. So, you know, when you go to, if you go to do it, do your plates this way, you might, you know, have to do something like this to, you know, be able to keep all, I want to keep all of my plates in one place. I don't want to be, have some here and some there and some everywhere. I have a feeling what's going to end up happening is I'm going to have a small book, a medium book, and a large book. But right now, my mediums and larges fit together. These are the clear jelly stamper plates that fit in here. They fit really nicely. And my KN and my HK plate. And then all of my, um, you know, my Lena's and my Uber Chic and my You Are Beautiful plates, even with that plastic backing on them, um, they still fit in here just fine. There were no issues getting them in or out. I've already been playing. Now, I also had, you know, my plates from BBF. Now, these are not sliding out of here. They don't fit in here very snug. I'm thinking about making backings for them, even though they've got a nice backing. But maybe if I bulk them up a little bit, they, they won't slide so bad. Or I could just be very careful and, and you know, not be a goofball with them. <clears throat> I also had these plates from Sissy and Sissy, these square plates. And they fit in the large holder. Of course, they're a little short, but that's fine. They're safe. They're flat. And then my new Ejubis plate. So, but that's what I've decided to do with mine. I will definitely, I've been chatting with all of you in the comments um, uh, um, from my video where it was my overview of my stamping plates. I will um, be breaking them into, um, you know, sets. Um, I haven't decided if it's going to be 10 or 25 or a brand or style or what, but I will figure out what I'm going to do and, and how to make it easy on y'all and me. Um, so when I do that, there will be lots and lots and lots of videos. I might post one once a week. I might post one extra, uh, like if I post a nail art video one day, I might just throw in one of those videos in the afternoon or something for those of you that want to see it. I know a lot of you could, you know, could could pass on that, but there seems to be a lot of interest in it, and so I really do want to do it. It might take me a year to get through them all. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a hot minute, though, I can tell you that much. So... That is the what we're going to be doing with that. Let's, let me get this. I want to. I want to show y'all the tabs on the zipper. Let me get this up here. Can you hear that? That's a heck of a zipper. I'm telling you, it's got the two little gold tabs, and I just think that that is just. Oh, it's so fancy. It's so pretty and so fancy. Let's flip it up. There you go. Look how pretty. So that is <clears throat> my solution this time for my stamping plates. Um, I want to thank Patty over at Patty's Polished Corner for sharing her storage solution and leading me down the trail to find this 
um, this way of storing stampin' plates. I'm really, really excited. So thank you, Patty, so much for sharing that with us. That's what we all do. We're all here together. We all have the same passion and love, and sharing is just a good thing. It's just good. We all learn from each other, and we, we get inspired and ideas, and and I, I don't know what I would do without you all, because um, I would have, oh, I know what I'd do. I'd have stamping plates in Velveeta boxes. That's what we'd be doing. So, thank you so much. Um, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how you store your stamping plates. Um, I'm, I'm always curious to learn, even though this is what I'm doing now. You never know where this could go. I might need to know what you're doing because it, it might come in handy later. So thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.